I expect rewards. I am a worker in his house and I am deserving by mercy of the rewards. But go and ask God if he never blesses me again, I will still hold this mic till the day I see his face. You see, if your mindset is transactional, it will spill over to how you do ministry. I'm sorry to say this, we are going to round up. This is the problem with the church in the West. Their understanding of faith started well, but it started tilting towards material transactions as proof that the word is working. And it has now degenerated to several levels of compromises. So if I'm coming to your church, they'll have to arrange everything. You see that now? It's, it's a contractual thing. I don't need to know you. I don't need to love the sheep. I don't need to love who comes to get born again. That's not my business. Are you going to give me $50,000? If you are doing that, I'm coming to your church. Oh, I don't want to. It's men of God who will tell you, some who have interacted with all due respect with preachers globally, who will tell you some understanding that people use for ministry, that sometimes you need to go back and say, ah, where did these people keep the fear of God? It becomes for the highest bidder. So it doesn't matter if you are a devil. It doesn't matter whether you are a sorcerer, whether you are practicing which something. Mm, are you going to give me 50,000? Yes. Send the deposit of 40,000 first. Then we'll talk. By the time $40,000 hits my account, I'm anointed. It doesn't matter what happens in, in your church. If you're a young minister here, listen, let me encourage you. I know that we're talking to both pastors, business leaders. Make up your mind under God that in righteousness, you will get this thing right. Love everybody and honor everybody, but stay with the spirit of grace to select a righteous template for ministry so that you don't destroy yourself. There are things that will look fashionable and marketable for a while until the vengeance of God lands upon evildoers.